my friends, I'm Kevin, and this is Children's Church. I want to welcome you here today, and thank you for, for being here, because this is the church. Wherever God is, the church is there. Just like God is with you wherever you are, and God is with me where I am, right here. And so, if we're together, we are the church, because God is with us. And today, in Children's Church, we're going to talk about the Good Samaritan. And you may have heard that term before. So, we're going to talk about that all through Children's Church. And I brought my trusty bag, and it has all the stuff we need to talk about Children's Church. And we're going to do that in a, just a, in a little bit. But first, we're going to recognize that we're the church together. And so we're going to say, here's the church. And so if you haven't done it before, just join with me. Watch what I do. And if you have done it before, please, please uh, uh, join with me again. And so we're going to take our hands and we're going to join them like this, make like a double knuckled fist, right? And so what we're going to do is turn them around and we're going to bring our thumbs together like this. And so it forms, forms looks like our thumbs are doors. And so those are the doors of the church. So, so if you've done this before, say it with me. And if you haven't done with it, I'll, I'll say it so you can follow along, okay? Here is the church. And here is the steeple. And open up the doors and see all the people. And we're the people of the church. And that's, and that's the important thing to remember. Where we are, God is with us. So today in Children's Church, like I said, we're going to talk about the Good Samaritan. And so I want to ask you a question. How do we love our neighbors as Jesus asks us to? And that's a good question because um, Jesus has asked that same question by someone who was listening to him as he taught. And so, but first he said that this person asked him, what is, the great, what is the greatest thing that we should do in order to, to be part of God's love? And Jesus asked this person who asked him, said, well, what do the sacred teachings say? As we know them as our Bible stories today. And the person said to Jesus, well, it says to love our God and love our neighbor as ourself. And Jesus said, you're right. And so then this person had another question. How do we know who our neighbor is? And Jesus went on to tell the parable of the Good Shepherd, or sorry, the Good Samaritan. And the Good Samaritan is is a parable and I'm not sure if you know what a parable is a parable is a story that has more than one meaning and so and we'll hear a little bit more about the Good Samaritan as we go along and uh, and but first we're gonna pray so let's get ready to pray so we're gonna just kind of get comfortable where we are and we're gonna put our hands together like this. And if you feel really comfortable, you can clasp them like this. And, and we're gonna close our eyes. And we're just gonna close our eyes and allow God's presence to be with us. And because we want, we got, want God's presence to be with us and, and to have an open heart. Um, and so we can have this little conversation with God. And so, and then we're going to bow our heads, and I'm going to re I'm going to, this is going to be a repeating prayer, so you can repeat after me, and I'll leave room for you to say the words, okay? So, let's pray. Dear God, help us to be a good neighbor. Fill our hearts full of your love. 
help us to show your love to everyone we meet. Show us to love you and all our neighbors. As Jesus taught us. Amen. Thank you for praying with me today. And I hope you joined in. And uh, so now we're going to hear our Bible story. Our story of the Good Samaritan. So we're going to hear our Bible story about the Good Samaritan, as Jesus tells, tells us that uh, parable, that uh, story with many meanings. And you may have heard that saying before, the Good Samaritan. And um, it means, the Good Samaritan means someone who has done something for someone they don't know um, when the other person needs help. And maybe you've been a good Samaritan to somebody that um, that you don't know that needs help. Um, maybe you were a friend to someone who was new in your school and uh, they needed a friend and because they were having a hard time um, uh, finding or making friends and so you decided to be their friend. Or maybe you've held the door open for for someone when you've been out with your parents, someone that like somebody that um, had a lot of stuff in their hands and your parents were, were out shopping and uh, you held the door open for, for, for someone you didn't know and just to be nice, to be friendly. And that's, that, those are a couple examples of being the Good Samaritan. And I have a picture of the Good Samaritan and, uh, and, so, um, and I'm going to send it to you and there's going to be an email sent to your parents and and it shows shows the good samaritan and it says it says jesus wants us to love everyone and then it has this is at the bottom the good samaritan and we can find that in our bibles uh, in the in the the in the in the book labeled luke and it's chapter 10 and it's uh, verses 25 to 37 and so i will send that to you and you can color it as well so we're going to have our Bible story now, and I hope you enjoy it. One time, Jesus was asked by another person, what's the most important thing in life? And Jesus said to that person, you already know. And that person said, that is true, I do. It is to love God and love people, just like they are your neighbors. The person paused a while and thought and asked another question, but who is my neighbor? Then Jesus told this story. There was once someone who went from Jerusalem down to Jericho. As we went along his way, he was attacked by robbers, and they beat him up and took everything he had, even his coat, and they left them at the side of the road. There was also a great priest from the temple who was walking the road from Jerusalem down to Jericho. As he went along, he came to the place where the person who had been beaten and everything taken away from him had been left on the side of the road. When the priest came to him, the priest went around him and went along his way. There was also someone else, another person, 
from the temple, who was making their way from Jerusalem to Jericho. They helped in the temple and even played the music. And this person was known as a Levite. And when the Levite reached the place where the person had been beaten and robbed of everything and left on the road, he too walked around him and went on his way. There was another person, a stranger, who did not live in Jerusalem, but he was walking the road as well. He was visiting from a country called Samaria. People in Samaria did not like the people in Jerusalem, and the people in Jerusalem did not like the people in Samaria. When the stranger came to where the person who had been beaten and hurt and everything taken away from him and left on the road, the stranger went to him. The stranger put medicine on all the places he was hurt. The stranger even gave him his own coat to wear. The stranger put the man on his donkey. And took him to an inn where he stayed the night with him and made sure he was okay and he even paid the innkeeper to take care of him until he was well again and Jesus told this story and asked, I wonder, who is the neighbor to the person who had been hurt and everything taken away from him and was left at the side of the road? Was it the Levite? Was it the great priest? Or was it the good Samaritan?
So for our craft time today, we are going to make a frame. And it's a heart frame and it says, love your neighbor as yourself. And so we, what we're going to do is we're gonna color it first before we do anything else. And the circle piece we're going to cut out and that will be your frame. Um, you can put a picture in it and maybe a picture of yourself to remind yourself to love your neighbor as yourself or you can put it on your on a mirror maybe you have a mirror at home that's yours in your room or and uh, you can put it up there so every time you look in the mirror you'll remember that you love your neighbor as yourself and uh, and uh, so you're going to need this um, and uh, there should be an email sent to your parents so they're going to have to print that off for you and and you're going to probably need help cutting this out but first we're going to color it so we'll need this and plus we will need some crayons so either some crayons or some pencil crayons something to give it some color and so we're going to color around the border well i mean it doesn't matter you can color all over the place or and or you can leave uh, make sure um, you can see um, what it says well i'll color it and show you what it looks like and then we can go from there okay so now that I've colored it, you'll see I kind of, what I did is I uh, used all different colors. If you want to just use one color and color it all one, the heart all one color or whatever you want to do, whatever you want, or you can make half one color and half another color, or you can do like I did and make it all different colors. And so once you get that done, you're going to want to cut this piece out. So it doesn't matter if you've colored over it because you want to cut that circle out. So, so it'll stick on your mirror and then you can cut cut this first and cut this out. The best bet is cut this out first because you just want the frame with the heart and that. And so I'll, I'll cut it out and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? So what I've done is I've cut the outside frame out. And so you can see it's looking, it looks like a heart. So for the middle, what you're gonna wanna do is cut it out too to cut the circle out. So so um, you're gonna wanna fold it maybe and then cut it. If, if you're if you're not sure if you, you need some help get an adult to help you and um, just fold it and then maybe cut inside the circle as far as you can go down and just cut the circle out and so that way you get the circle and you don't have to worry about trying to get all the way around because if you're folded in half then you can get the circle and it'll come out like a circle like that and so you can put it up on a mirror and uh, that way you can, uh, when you look in the mirror, you can see your face and it'll say, love your neighbor as yourself. And so what you might, might want to do is get some sticky tack, which is like a, it's a, it's a blue, blue kind of sticky stuff that you can put back on the back of your picture and, um, and stick it on your mirror. Or if you have some tape at home, you can just tape it, tape it up to your mirror like this. And, or you can tape a picture to the back of it and tape it on your mirror as well. And so that is our love your neighbor as yourself frame for, your, for, for a picture or your mirror. And so I hope you enjoy doing your craft today. And I'm glad you came and uh, did this craft with me. So when I'm praying the Lord's Prayer, especially when I'm praying alone, although I really have to stop myself in front of people because it's such a, such a great way to pray, I do it with, with actions. So this is how I pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So I want to thank you. For, well, I want to thank you for coming today.
to Children's Church. I also want to thank Celia for praying the Lord's Prayer, and I hope you joined with her. I also want to thank Cecilia, Celia, and Jane for singing our song today. And I hope you joined in with them as well. So I want to thank you for coming to Children's Church today. I'm really glad you came. And, but before we go, we're going to pray again. And so let's get ready to pray. Let's get comfortable where we are. And we'll put our hands together like this. And if you feel really comfortable, you can clasp them together like this. And we're going to close our eyes and just open our hearts to God's presence with us today. And we're going to bow our heads. And this is going to be another repeating prayer. And so you can repeat after me. And so we're going to pray, okay? Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for all our blessings, everything we have, our family, our friends, our neighbors. May we be a good neighbor today and every day. May we be God's love to our family, our friends, and our neighbors, just as Jesus does in our Bible stories, and ask, ask us to do the same. Amen. So just to let you know, I will send an email to your parents and it will have the template for your, 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 your picture frame or your mirror, mirror frame. And I will also send the picture of the Good Samaritan. And uh, you can color that and you can put it up on your wall and you can remember to love your neighbor as yourself just as Jesus tells us. But for right now, I'm gonna put this back in our bag, back in my trusty bag so it's nice and safe. And we're gonna remember that we are the church together. So we're gonna say, here's the church again. So let's put our hands together and just like we did before, so we're gonna clasp our knuckles together like that to make the double fist. And then we're going to close the doors, make our thumbs the doors. And we're gonna say this together, okay? Here is the church, and here is the steeple. Open the doors and see all the people. Close the doors and listen to them worship and pray. Open the doors and watch them as they go and they share God's love today. So I hope you go and share God's love today and every day with everyone you meet. And I hope you'll join me again from child for Children's Church next time. Bye for now.